I made a mental note to warn Gussie when I next saw him that another item looming on his troubled horizon was a potential rival in the shape of one jelly magnet, Cyrus Budge. Junior or senior, if it came to trial by brute force, I had no doubt where I was putting my money. Oh, there you are, at last. Miss Bingter. Stiffy, the very person. I want a word with you. At last? What does one have to do to get you down here? I want a strong word. Come on, follow me. Where are we going? Somewhere that isn't quite such a public highway. Through here. What's this? The maze. Nobody ever comes in here. Follow on. Uh, do you know your way round it? Yes, of course. Used to spend hours in here when I was a kid. Only sure way to get away from Madeline. She never followed me in here. She was far too scared. Yes, all right, this is deep enough. Now listen. What I have to say to you, Stiffy, can be said very briefly. I do not take kindly to having our engagement announced in the Times. I have never proposed to you, and I don't intend to. Save your breath. There's someone else anyway. Who? Harold Pinker. Stinker? Don't call him that. His name is Harold. Then if you're engaged to Stinker, why announce you're engaged to me? I'm not engaged to Harold, but I want to be. I have to be. Only Uncle Watkin, he doesn't think Harold's suitable. What's old Bassett got against Stinker? I don't know. He says Harold's got no money and he breaks everything. <laughs> well, he's absolutely right, of course. Stinker's a one-man tornado. <laughs> he's not. He's just shy. And when he gets shy, he gets... Destructive. Accidentally destructive. And if I can't marry him, something else will get broken. Only this time, it will be my heart. Oh, oh, he's just so, so... Beautiful and describable, having intended too good for this world. Well, I'm awfully happy for you both, Stiffy. I really am. I wish you the best of luck. And kindly leave me out of it. We need your help, Harold and I. We have a plan. Then you should have asked me properly instead of announcing our engagement, for heaven's sake. Well, how else was I to get you here? You ignored all my phone calls and my telegrams. Because I know you only too well, Stiffy. Well, enough to give you a very wide berth when you're hatching stupid plans. I'm sorry, I'm going. Goodbye, he said firmly. You'll be sorry if you do, Bertie. Not half as sorry as if I stick around here. You know me, Bertie. I could be so grateful. Really, really grateful. A good friend forever. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm not too sure. All I need's a sympathetic friend To help me find a way to leave Love's maze is a magical